Hey, this is Chris from Stockspot, Australia's largest online investment advisor. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing the top three things you need to know before you start investing. And the first thing is you need to know how long you're planning to invest for. This is a really important factor to help determine the sorts of investments you should be making. For instance, if you're only planning to invest for a month or six months or even a year, you shouldn't be investing in the share market at all. In fact, you should just be leaving your money into a savings account or something like that that's going to give you a stable, sensible return with not a lot of volatility or zero volatility. We don't recommend to clients to touch the share market if they've got a very short-term time horizon. However, if you are looking to invest for three years or five years or 10 years, it might make sense to put some growth investments like shares and property in your portfolio. So that's why time horizon is important. The next thing you need to think about is what's your capacity to take risk. And by capacity to take risk, I mean, how comfortable are you when your value of your portfolio falls or if the value of your portfolio were to fall? Now, typically, if you had a all share market portfolio, what you can expect is every few years, the value of those shares to fall by 20 or 30%. Um, you need to be able to stomach that fall in order to recover and earn the returns of the share market over the long run. With a balanced or diversified portfolio, those drawdowns are a bit less. Maybe you might expect that every few years there might be a 10 or 15% fall, but you do need to be able to manage emotionally a bit of a dip in your value of your shares and your portfolio if you're planning to invest in the share market and understanding your risk capacity and your comfort for those falls helps to determine the right sort of investments. If you're not comfortable with big share market falls, you might need more bonds and cash in your portfolio, which are typically lower volatility type investments. Whereas if you are more comfortable with risk, you can dial up the share market aspect of your portfolio. And the final question you need to ask before you start investing is, how do you wanna manage your investments? And there's really two broad options out there. One is you wanna manage it yourself. So you wanna go and do the research, pick the underlying investments, work out how to combine them in your portfolio, manage rebalancing, manage tax. You, know, you wanna do it yourself. And the other option is outsourcing. So you can outsource to an online service like Stockspot. You can go and find a financial advisor or a broker, but ultimately it's an outsource model where you're letting someone else that you trust manage your portfolio. And they're the three things I think everyone needs to consider before they start investing. Now, if you are interested in getting an assessment of your investment horizon and risk capacity, we offer that as part of the onboarding Stockspot service without a cost. And you can visit stockspot.com.au and get a free risk assessment to understand which asset mix, which types of investments we would recommend based on your investment horizon and your capacity to take risk.